Hey guys, I'm here at HB and I'm supposed to be filming in here, but uh, you know, it's the confessions of a single father. My son is 21, and we're having a get together for him in Mathis Lake, and I'm gonna be barbecuing it up. And the next couple of videos you'll see is of that actually. Right now, it's Saturday, we're gonna do this on a Sunday, so get a load of this stuff. Throwing this shit down. Look at that. Fajita sausages. I'm gonna make some hamburgers. Chicken. Got the plates. Got the sausage. Got the containers to put the food in. Got it all. I'm gonna get the beer too. Hi guys. Well, I'm coming to y'all right now because. Bam! Look at that. Ice. Cold beer. Got some water over here. All this here in the middle is ice. About to dump another 16 pounds of ice on it. Check this out. Got some more stuff in the truck. All this is for tomorrow. So I'll be coming back at you tomorrow when I'm cooking. Because I'm not giving away my secrets on prepping. Geared up. We're running a little late. There's all the food. Charcoal, charcoal stars on the other side, and my newest baby here. Shovel for the fire. My eyes just full of beer, water. So yeah, we're about to hit the road. Forgot my lime, so I gotta go run to Walmart, pick those up real quick. Sadly, one. I swear to God, this boy is worse than a woman. No offense. Here in Mathis, got all the food laid out. Fajitas have been uh, soaking for over 16 hours. Got some chicken. And I can't see if I'm filming it correctly, so got that VNV sausage. Got seasoned hamburger meat that I seasoned yesterday, so everything's been soaking for a bit. Got greasy. Got. Gotta be a call, gotta be a rebel without a cause. Got my beer at Mathis. And I'm supposed to have beer at Mathis. Got my limes. Got stuff there. Pride and joy. Bam. Got the Michelob Ultra down there. Got some waters. Got some sodas on the very bottom. Got my pickles. Got the fire going. So, be back at y'all when the Food is actually on the fire. Guys, I decided to come to y'all right now before I started uh, the meat on the grill. You know, uh, many, many, many years ago, when I first found out uh, something on my thing, I was going to be a dad. I got a phone call, and the phone call said it's a boy. Well, I'm like, what's a boy? You know, I just got off of work. I was tired. And I said, your son. Your son's born, and I, I tripped out. I was scared. And it's been a journey ever since. So if I had to give you any advice, collective viewers, do see this. It's to never give up. Always keep moving forward, man. I love you. Um, yeah, I love you, man. Either way, food's on the grill. Yeah. See all that smoke behind me? Well, two packs of fajitas, two packs of chicken breast seasoned, marinated by me. Five pounds of hamburger meat. Six beers. And it looks like the only people who are going to be here are me, Goliath, my mom, and my dad. So I don't, I don't even sure if I'm going to post this. kind of sucks. But yeah. Water out of the pond. 
I don't know, I'm just here for the comments. showed up. He got older than dust that won't appear on camera. If I show this dude over here on camera, the fucking ice will come after him. And I don't have enough space to capture this fat fuck on camera. Are you recording? Uh-huh. <laughs> so today's mug bag's been fucked. You don't fucked. know nothing about ice, alright? You don't know shit about ice. So, yeah, nobody showed. So, I'm gonna continue eating. Y'all go on your day. Well, food went down pretty good. Beer went down even harder. Excuse me, I'm a little thirsty. Uh, nobody showed. Which is like, okay. That's fine. I understand. Um, today's been like a perfect day. Just look at that. I'm bored down there fishing. With the grandfather. Mm. Grace is just chilling like a villain. Man, that chick ate a lot of barbecue. My mom's chilling in the truck because, well, that's just my mom. Confession before I let y'all go. It wasn't always hard. It wasn't always easy being a single parent. There's a lot of things you have to over get to overcome, such as the fear. What am I gonna do when he asks about his mother? What am I gonna do when he asks like why? So what I did, I told him all about her, the story from the get go. I never hid anything from him. He's a pain in my ass, but I think he's a better man for it. So truth. Give him truth every fucking day. So till next time. Catch y'all later. Yeah. Today was fun. I really hope that the people that helped me raise them throughout his life would have been here, but you know, things happen, so no it will. I understand. So until the next time, later.